presidential candidate of all progressives congress bola tinubu on wednesday pledged to embark on a, on a routine dredging of the popular river niger if elected as president this was as his media team dismissed reports that the former Lagos state governor was rushed to medical attention or rushed for medical attention midway through his campaign the development is coming barely 24 hours after his rally in the Asian city of Kaduna. Tinubu was welcomed on Wednesday to Mina Trade Fair Complex, venue of his presidential campaign rally in Niger State on Wednesday by a mammal cry of crowd of supporters. His visit to the rally came shortly after he had a town hall meeting with farmers and agro commodity traders in the state. While thanking the party members and supporters who thronged to complex thrown the complex for their commitments, the APC candidate vowed to repay them by attending to the major challenges of Niger State. Among other things, Tinubu pledged to commence a routine dredging of River Niger and full development to the development of the Barrow ports. He said, your state has ample resources and large potential. Not only does Niger cover the largest land mass of any state in Nigeria, but it also serves as the home to three hydroelectric power plants that symbolically light the way forward to hope renewed. Hmm. Talk, 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 talk. Okay. These are the things he said he's going to do for them. What? If the people are convinced enough that he's going to do it, why not let them support him? All this your plenty and many promises are not too important because 2015 is not far from our mind and the youth that were killed in 2010-2020 demands justice. Baba go and raise. Take care of yourself. Tinubu said all these things less than two minutes in the podium before he was escorted out unannounced. Thank you. Same way. <clears throat> Well, the same way they promised heaven and earth, yes, so the same way they promised heaven and earth in 2015, and they are not even talking about all those promises, they are not talking or saying anything about all of those things. So, what do you expect them to say? Hmm. Well, Bubu said it during his campaign, and nothing has happened till now, my people. Now the same people really he said this <laughs> hmm. can you imagine he said this during his time even the so-called what do they call that uh, in in is it in river state this is uh, sweeping of a uh, cleaning up a uh, ugoni yeah cleaning up ugoni land today they didn't do that you know they're not saying anything about it Ugune land. They said they are going to clean up Ugune land. See today, nothing, nothing is being said. Nothing is being done. And they even told us, told us that it's going to take thirty good years for that place to be clean. Have they even started anything? No. Buari never. He said many, many. He said something like that, but he never went there one day. He only sent a Ushiba. Ushiba, you know, just went two times, and the two people were deceived, and they gave him chief Tansi title. See today, nobody is saying anything about it. Say they are coming and coming and telling us a cock and boo story. All the things that they say they are going to do, they didn't do it. But the ones that are on ground, they try to finish it up and they are not taking glory on that. But people started it. When you hear people say, Oh, they didn't, they've not started anything and they put it, uh, bring it to completion. You begin to wonder, uh, uh, Why is this one like that? Why is that one like that? Like I said, if people believe that they can trust him, fine. But uh, one thing I'm hearing again is that Buhari campaign with this same uh, dredging of a uh, Niger. Today, nothing has been done. And that was why I made reference to Ugoni cleanup. We know that uh, our people are used to long suffering. Mm. They will say, hey, don't worry. Hey, this one will complete it. Uh, this one, this and that. And when they cannot do it, they begin to tell you, oh, the reason why they can't do it is because of you. No, because of the way you insulted them. Because of that, because of that. And people are saying, go and rest. 
this is the man that is making all these promises less than two minutes he said all of these things and of course they are going to write all these things out but maybe just saw the things that he was supposed to read read out but he couldn't read that we remember how the whole thing happened so of course they have to bring it or put it out there that what he could have said is what they are telling you now that even if he had stayed back they told us that it was he left because of a other engagement hmm. under engagement the same man who told us that okay he did a seven rounds in umrah the lesser arch that he went to in saudi arabia now shetima has come to tell us that he does not sleep well he does not sleep well he has a parkinson disease and they will tell you oh he walks throughout he did this and this and that is that a good thing when you don't do the right thing you don't sleep well and as a result according to shetima that is the reason why he has him, he's having this uh, Parkinson disease that if he sleeps well but they always brag they always bragging that yes he can do this he can stay awake for close to 24 hours 48 hours in now she but now they say it started affecting him according to shetima now the whole thing is started affecting him Parkinson disease if you don't sleep well so does it mean the student and the wife cannot tell him you need to have a rest because they believe that uh, is they want to prove a point well all these promises are not a uh, tenable or how will i put it they are not moved by nigerians because the ones are on ground why did he to finish them now he's talking about our what and what he did in lagos but all the promises and what apc ought to have done they didn't do it too they didn't do it but he's talking another one so that Mughals will still believe all this rubbish so guys let us hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.